Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at what the last 24 hours of a death row prisoner looks like. We all know that for those on death row, their time is coming soon. It's where the worst prisoners are put before they're taken out by the state. But what do the last terrifying 24 hours of one of these inmates actually look like? Before we take a trip to the electric chair, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too? Okay, let's start at the beginning of the day, 4.30 a.m. That's right, these inmates are woken up incredibly early on their final day. That's because there's a lot to do. So unfortunately, on your final day, there's no time for a lie-in. You're woken up at 4.30 a.m. and are immediately given breakfast. Prison wake-up times are usually from 5 to 7 a.m. But for the inmates facing their last day on Earth, as if it couldn't get any worse, they have to wake up super early. They will then get a standard prison breakfast. This will often be eggs, some wheat, some toast, some coffee, and some milk. Not exactly gourmet, but it's worse than nothing. This will go on until around 6 a.m. Then they have two hours of waiting around time. Now let's fast track to the next stage in their day, 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. they'll have a very, very emotional experience. That's because they'll get their final visits from family and friends. At this time, their family and friends will come and say a final goodbye to them before they depart this earth. That is, if their family and friends want to see them. Some of these people have done such bad things, nobody visits. But if you do get any visits, then they will likely be very emotional. Many officers have reported crying and screaming at these visits because they're so sad. Just imagine knowing it's the last time you're ever going to speak to your family member or friend ever again. This will go on for around 2 hours until 10am. Then at 10.30am, they have their next stage of the day. At 10.30am, they'll receive lunch. Now, this may sound like an early lunch, but remember, they had breakfast at 4.30am. This prison lunch may consist of rice, beans, and juice. Another popular prison lunch is a stew, cornbread, and mashed potatoes along with vegetables. This will take them up to 11.30 a.m. And at that point, they're not taken back to their normal cell. Instead, they're taken to a special holding cell for people about to have their lives ended. They will then have to sit in that cell for nearly four hours. And then the next big stage of their day comes. This stage is very important and it happens at 3 p.m. At 3 p.m., they have a visit from their spiritual advisor. This is a clergyman from whatever their religion happens to be. For example, they may get a visit from a priest if they're Christian. If they're Buddhist, they'll get a visit from a monk. If they're Jewish, they'll get a visit from a rabbi. And if they're Muslim, then they'll get a visit from an imam. Of course, this stage is actually optional, and if you don't have a religion, then you don't get to see anyone. However, in many people's final moments on Earth, they may actually turn to religion. For example, it's not uncommon for people in an emergency event to start praying. Well, the same is true for those about to have their lives ended by the state. They may figure in case there is heaven up there, then they should pray to try and get in. Also, if you're on death row, you've likely done some pretty bad things. So, they may want to seek forgiveness and disclose those bad things to a clergyman before they go. Either way, this will go on for around half an hour and then they're taken back to their new cell. But then half an hour later comes their next big step of the day. This will happen at 4pm. At 4pm, the inmates will go into showers and get clean clothing. Now, this may not sound very significant, but trust me, it is. That's because those are the last clothes and the last shower they will ever take. Along with their clean prison clothing, they also have to put on an adult diaper. That's because sometimes after you pass away, you do your business. Yep, that wasn't just a joke in a South Park episode. That's actually true. And don't think they can take a long, luxurious warm shower. The showers are lukewarm and you only get 5 minutes to shower and change your clothing. That's because the next big event of the day happens at 5 past 4. At 5 past 4 their final meal is served. You may think 5 past 4 is early for dinner. But remember they had breakfast at 4.30 and lunch at 10.30 so they'll be hungry. The final meal is a very big part of being on death row. It's the final thing you'll ever eat and you're brought whatever you choose. One inmate named Victor Harry Fuger asked for a simple olive with the pip removed. Timothy McVeigh, who took 170 lives, asked for two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Another inmate flat out refused a meal and didn't eat anything. Now, you're not actually allowed to say no to this meal as prisoners have to be fed three times a day by law. So instead, he was simply served a regular prison meal, but he didn't eat anything. But you can actually ask for tons of food if you wish. That's what one inmate named Michael Woods did. He had taken the life of his wife. 
However, in the years he spent in prison before he was taken out, he actually was a campaigner for prisoner rights. He wanted prisoners to be fed more, so as a last meal, he did a kind of protest meal. For his last meal, he asked for two pounds of bacon, four large meat pizzas, four fried chicken breasts, two Mountain Dews, two Pepsis, two root beers and two sweet teas, two pints of ice cream, five chicken fried steaks, two hamburgers with bacon, fries and a dozen garlic breadsticks. And by law, he was actually given all of that food. You're given one hour to eat that food. And then you return to your cell for 50 minutes. Then the last event of the day begins at five minutes to six. Prisoners are taken into what's known as the execution chamber. They will then either be taken out by electric chair or by injection. Then there's an allowed 30 minutes to prepare the prisoner in their place. They need to be taken into the room, sat down in their chair and then strapped in. Their arm will then be swabbed and a needle put into it. Then they will begin to pass away, but this could take around 30 minutes. The warden will then read out the court order to the prisoner. The warden will then ask the prisoner if he has any last words. One famous last words were, I did not get my spaghettios. I got spaghetti. I want the world to know this. These were the words said by Thomas Grasso, who'd requested spaghettios for his last meal, but got spaghetti instead. And another famous last words were Just Do It by Gary Gilmore. This actually went on to be Nike's famous slogan, Just Do It. Anyway, shortly after that, the prisoner will cease breathing and they will no longer be alive. Then a doctor will come into the room, check for a heartbeat and do some other inspections. He will then say the prisoner is no longer alive and record the time at which this happened. Also, if there are any viewers to this, as there sometimes are, a curtain will be drawn in the window. This means they won't catch the last moments of the prisoner's life, as they do want to give the prisoner some privacy. The prisoner will then be disconnected from the equipment and taken out to a hearse, which will be parked and waiting outside the prison. They will then be taken to a nearby funeral home and then embalmed or cremated. The body will then be turned over to the prisoner's family if they want it. But at times, they don't, and in that case, the ashes will be scattered. So, those are the final 24 hours of a prisoner on death row. I think if we've learned anything from this video, it's to be good and to never try and get ourselves on death row. But now I want to know your opinion. Only 160 countries on earth have the death penalty, but should we have it or not? Vote in the poll in the top right corner whether we should keep it or not. If you guys want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that coming up on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.